The Yosen Office of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has arrested a suspected criminal syndicate of bankers that allegedly specialize in forging signatures of deceased bank customers and stealing from their account. According to the FCC, the suspect also executed fraudulent financial transactions including authorized debit of deposit funds. A statement from the Antigraphs Agency disclosed that members of the syndicate, which includes Mbong Essien Aqua, Precious John, Kenneth Udok, and Mbong Udom, were on Monday, March 2, 2020, arraigned before Justice Archibong Archibong of the Aqua Ibom High Court City, New York, on 23 count charges bordering on conspiracy, forgery, obtaining by false pretense, and criminal conversation of deposit funds to the tune of 37,690,000 naira. The management of Fidelity Bank PLC Abba Road Branch in Uyo and 72 of the bank customers had in petition dated December 9, 2019, alerted the Commission of Suspicion Withdrawal from customers' accounts, including a diseased customer. Investigation by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission revealed that Umbong used his position as the head of operation and transaction service and delivery to establish a criminal syndicate that specialized in perpetrating a fraudulent transaction and deductions. Further investigation also showed that without the authorization or knowledge of the management of the bank, the defendant allegedly managed a fictitious fees deposit account which interest occurring to it. In view of the pleas, counsel to the FCC in Wadukudok prayed that the court for a trial date and for the defendant to be remanded in the custody of the Nigerian Correctional Service. The matter was thereafter adjourned to June 1st, 2nd and 3rd, 2020 for hearing. While the defendant were remanded in the custody of the Nigerian Correctional Service pending the hearing of their bail applications. A suspected child trafficker identified as Mary Yakub has been arrested with 23 children by the Taraba State Police Command. The suspect, who was paraded before newsmen on Monday, March 2nd, was napped with children between the ages of 4 and 7, comprising of 4 boys and 9 girls. The Taraba State Police spokesperson, David Masia, said the children have been handed over to the Ministry of Social Welfare in the state. He further revealed that the seven parents have been arrested so far, while investigation to arrest others have been intensified. Mary Yakub, however, insisted that the children were handed over to her by their parents, who asked her to look for people to take care of them. A magistrate court in Ikeja, Lagos State on Monday ordered a 28-year-old man, Yakubu Anofola, who allegedly defied a neighbor's four-year-old daughter, to be remanded in the Koyi Custodian Center. Yakubu Afunala was charged with defiement after he allegedly inserted his penis into the little girl's vagina. The incident reportedly occurred on February 11, 2020 at Balogun Street, Idri Shaga, Lagos. After listening to the charges against him, Yakub pleaded not guilty. The chief magistrate, Olufun Kesule Amzad, gave the order to the suspect to be remanded in Ikoyi Kosedan Center pending when the case would be filed at the Keja Special and Special Offense Court. The Lagos State Police Command has apprehended seven armed robbers who are known to specialize in robbing supermarkets and churches in Lagos. The robbers, including the Indian white lady who led the robbery operation along Apapa Expressway, Lagos, on 27 February 2020, were apprehended by the Nigerian police. The leader of the gang, Aisha Nobu, who confessed during interrogation, revealed she has been fortified by the Indian priest and no amount of bullets can penetrate her and members. Before they ran out of luck, the leader of the gang confessed they have successfully robbed numbers of churches and supermarkets in and outside Lagos State since 2011 when she came to Nigeria. The police stated that the gang was apprehended after exchanging bullets for us before the Nigerian army came to their rescue, which led to the arrest.